Now we're going to the upside down house. As we head into this home, the attention to detail is quite fascinating. How they managed to hang everything perfectly upside down, looking like it is when it's right side up. Just consider how it should look when it's normally placed in a home and see if it looks much different here. I don't think as you're looking across the pillows and the magazines, it doesn't look any different than what it should look like if it was placed in a home right side up. As we head into this space, I again, I'm just taken back at the attention to detail. Look at the shampoo and conditioner and sunglasses. And also notice at the vanity, the toothbrush and toothpaste and all the things that you would normally find in the bathroom. Nothing is missing. This place is completely stocked. And speaking of stocked, here we see a completely stocked kitchen. Look at the refrigerator and notice the cupboards as well, everything down to the snacks and the necessities, everything is there, all placed as you would see it in a normal kitchen. And here is a delegated workspace. Notice the magazines, everything is laid perfectly. Here we are entering the lowest level of the stilted Thai style home. But on this house, it's the highest level because it's upside down. This is the area that you would commonly see your vehicles parked, or you might have some meals together, or your kids could play. It's an area for shade and a little bit of comfort. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Wow, I just about you just know we're going.